So a while back, I reviewed the Alto briefcase by Oak and Rose. And as of today, I'm, a, I'm happy to report that it's still going strong after months of use and it's still my default briefcase but today it gets to meet its sexy big brother let me introduce to you the kennedy weekender now at first glance you would notice that they kept the same signature details as they did with the briefcase by using the same nylon fabric shell with that full green leather piping and hand I also believe I said this in the last review, like this combination of materials pairs very well together because like you get that durability with that touch of luxury with that you know full grain leather. Even though, even though it's all black, like you can tell that different materials were used. Now let's get to the nitty gritty detail, shall we? Now this is a Weekender bag, duh. But I like to refer it to as a Weekender 2.0 or plus bag because it has features most traditional weaker weekenders don't have. So on the left, it has this small compartment that I used to securely store documents, passports, and keys, since it has this little attached key holder here. And on the right, you can see it's big enough to store things like books, notebooks, chargers, and more. Spacious, organized, and just easy to access in the front. And speaking of easy access, I like to refer to this part of the bag as a throwaway compartment when you're on the go in a rush or don't want to hold up a line by zipping and unzipping uh, compartments each time i would say this is my favorite feature because this part right here is very deep and wide enough to fit a sweater or jacket if i wanted to but I can literally throw on anything when i'm in a rush and i know it's securely stashed in there because it has very strong magnetic closure so no more speed walking in the airport with a water bottle in one hand and a sweater tied around my uh, my neck. Next compartment is for all of your tech storage. It has a generous amount of compartments and space to keep everything in place and protect it just like their Alto briefcase. As a content creator who occasionally travels, I really do appreciate this because my other weekenders have this. But yeah, let's move on to the last compartment which is where we store all of our clothes all of our, all of our clothes come on now they really didn't skimp on pockets here uh, both sides of this compartment include a large zippered pocket and two elastic pockets the dimensions of this compartment are large enough to hold enough like three to four days of clothes maybe more in the summertime we also have a shoe compartment on the side that's actually lined so no dust or dirt will get on your clothes. I've seen bags with a shoe insert on the side, just like this one, but it's not really a compartment. It's more like a like a shortcut to reach whatever it is at, whatever it is at the bottom of the bag. Doesn't make any sense, but hey, kudos to Oak and Rove for making this line. And lastly, it has, what is it? A luggage sleeve, a trolley sleeve in the back if you do travel with larger luggage. Overall, I think they killed it with this bag. Uh, the design, the functionality, and like the order of the compartments are very well thought out. But let's also forget that it's also very stylish. The silhouette, very clean for all the functional features it has. And it just looks so high end while being understated. I'm also like, you know, confident it's going to hold up just as well as my Alto briefcase. And these also do have a lifetime warranty as well. But yeah, that is my review on the Kennedy Weekender by Oak and Rove. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm definitely, this is definitely going to replace all my other small little Weekenders, <laughs> especially with the one with wheels on it. But yeah, guys, uh, if you guys are interested in checking out Oak and Rove, they actually let, gave me the code from last time. It's still active. So if you want to check them out and get 10% off your order, make sure to use the code RS10 at checkout. Anyways, guys, that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.